Hi. Well, you probably saw part one of the uh, the hoist uh, casters discussion, and this is part two. And uh, this is uh, using the traditional method to move this hoist. You push down on this handle and then pull back. Kind of look at my body, Jay. Like push down on the handle and pull back, and I can do that okay. But the pushing forward is I really am not strong enough to do both. I can't. I can't push it down and push it forward. It's just brutal to move ahead. So, in the first video I showed you a bracket that I made and uh, this part here I welded I welded to the hoist. This, this piece is new and underneath it's shaped like this. And you see this one is shaped, this is shaped just the opposite. And they slide I'll put this up a little bit and so I take this and slide it in place, just sit it there, that's all, I don't, it just sits there. Now when I put the hoist down, it doesn't go down quite as far, it's up about three quarters of an inch from where it was. But, now, probably 70% of the weight is on that one caster. Now I don't even need to, I don't need to push down. I don't even need to push down on the handles here, and I can push the hoist ahead like that. There's no way I could have done that before. You know, it's easier to move, and I can still, I can still change direction. That's so so much better. So I move it into place. Let's say I want to use it. Now I take the Steve Caster 2000 out of the way. And now the hoist is as low as it can go. I want to move it again. There it is, installed. And then I can put this back. Anybody with the hoist that's ever tried to move one of these would know how much easier that is with the caster than without it. There you go, that's it.